Hi, my name's Abe. Uh, today, hopefully, we're going to teach you how to change a headlight bulb by yourself. To find out what type of bulb your car takes, you could either go to your local car shop, manufacturer, or possibly look in your little owner's book. Might tell you that. Generally, if you give your registration in, they'll be able to tell you what bulb your car takes. There's lots of different headlight bulbs, all different cars. This one is a HB4. This one is a H4, which has got three pins. And this one is a H7. This is the most common. On the bulbs, you'll find a tab. It's very important that this tab is located properly or the bulb will sit on an angle and it won't sit in the hole properly. It must be flat in the hole. If you've seen cars driving down the road with a headlight very bright, generally it's because the bulb's in wrong and the headlight is pitched on an angle, sticking up in the air because it's not located properly. So it must be in straight. And it's because of this little tab, it's not located in the proper place. How to take the bulb out and put a new bulb in. We've done it like this just to make it easy so you can see it. So first of all, you need to remove the outer cover off your headlight, and then you'll be able to see the, pl the plug. So you need to, the bulbs will always be tight on the plug, so you need to try and keep hold of the bulb inside and just wiggle the plug slowly and take it off. That's a H4, which is three pin. And you might have a rubber cover, which you can then take off. And you can see the bulb now, three pins. Most bulbs are held in with a spring like this. This one's only got one tab, which you push. And as you can see, it hooks out of there and you lift it and it comes out and opens like a gate. Watch you don't drop this clip. Sometimes it can be loose and fall inside the head. Like be very careful that doesn't happen. So take the bulb out and you can see what position the bulb's in. You've got three pins on this to help for it to locate. So it'll only go one way. Okay. So when you've taken your bulb out and you've got your new bulb, don't touch the glass. You'll put hot spots on the glass with the sweat and grease off your hands. So get your new bulb. Put it in position. Bring the gate back over. Press it down and lock it. So put the bulb in. Bring the gate over. Press it down and lock it. On this light, this has got this rubber cover. And put the rubber back on. Put your plug back on. And if you've got another outer cover, just check the light works before you put everything back. Right, we're gonna now fit a bulb in a car in situ. Um, this is a Renault Clio 2013. Um, as I was saying earlier, there's different covers to take off for different lights. So this car's got one here for the indicator, this one here is for the side lights, and the one there looks like it's for the headlights. So put your lights on, see which light's not working, and see which cover goes for that bulb. Okay, this is the headlight. Take this cover off. I don't know whether you can see in the back there. There's two pins on that bulb. That's a H7 with a two pin plug. So I'm gonna see if I can get it off. Okay, that plug's off. That's the H7. I've got to try and get the bulb. What I would generally do is get a small mirror and it'll help you look into the back of the headlights because you can't physically get your head round to see what they look like. I've got a couple of mirrors here. This one you can buy. About four or five pounds. And you can just tilt it 
and you'll be able to see in the back of the headlight. A bit better, this one's just an old wing mirror off a car. So you can just hold that. And you can see in the back of the headlight better. Now that bulb is actually broken when I've pulled the plug off. So we'll get it out and we'll show you what the problems happened with that. There's a little metal clip, what I was showing earlier. So we've got to find out where it is. Oh yeah. If I take the cover off, you can see better. Okay. There's the little... That was the plug off the headlight. There's the spring clip. So, one side, push it in and push it to the side. And this one's got double. So push it and push it to the side. Lower the clip down slowly. So you don't drop it in the headlight. And bring the bulb out. And you can see what's happened to that. The bulb has well, fell apart. So we're going to get a H7 bulb, which is this. The tab is at the top. It should locate in the groove. You can see what bit was missing off the bulb now. Don't touch the glass. Get the new bulb. the tab at the top. Make sure it's sitting straight, not on an angle like that. So it's got to sit in properly. Bring the gate back, push that clip on, the other side of the clip, on, put the plug back in. and just slowly push the plug on. And that's that one in. Before you put everything back, I would check your light works. And then, if that's okay, put all your covers back. It's important you put the covers back because you can get water inside the headlight or dirt and you don't want water in your light. Okay, sometimes you might have to take things off some components. You might have to like, sometimes you can take these necks out the way, they'll just twist and pull off. Sometimes there'll be an air box in the way, like for example on that side. You've got a fuse box here, but this headlight is quite accessible. It's quite good. I'll generally, you can't get at things as easy as this. For example, you wouldn't be able to see the bulb because it'd be in the back and it doesn't have a side cover like this car's got.